Well, of course, uh, I came to TCU for one reason. That was to build a winning, winning team here, and uh, this is my last chance. And I, you know, third time's charm, and I hope uh, uh, it's a winning, uh, winning season for me. And this is uh, the biggest, the biggest goal I have to meet right now. What are your thoughts on Coach Pittman's coaching techniques? Uh, coach Pittman is a, a really organized coach, and uh, he knows uh, how to talk to the players and, and get it over the players what he wants out of them. And of course, he's got a great staff, and, and they know uh, know what it takes to be a winning football team. Would you tell us a little bit about the type of defense you'll be using? Jerry, we use uh, the a four-man front. You know, uh, well, I call it the split four. A lot of people call it a forty defense. You know, but we have. Uh, uh, four people on the line of scrimmage and four linebackers and a three deep uh, setup. Uh, we feel like that from this alignment that we can adjust to the many uh, varied formations that you see uh, during the course of a football season with the minimum amount of teaching. Uh, it's different from last year. We, instead of using so much size up front, we're using more linebackers and a little bit more speed and agility. Is Coach Pittman satisfied with your size? Has he asked you to trim down any? Well, Coach Pittman really hadn't said one way or the other. My linebacker coach last spring felt like I needed to put on a little weight. I was at 207, and I came back at 215, and I could probably play at that size, I believe. Buster Brown, who's been around a number of years, was commenting earlier this morning over a cup of coffee that the Frogs this year would get after them. Uh, do you echo those sentiments? Yes, sir, I sure do. The, this new coaching staff, you know, leaves you with that, you know, inspiration. They, they're going to get us all fired up. I know they are because I've seen it in spring and I've seen it this fall. I think, you know, most players want to win for these men. As you know, it's not how much you know, but how much you can get across to those young men that are going to be playing on Saturday. If Coach Jim is as successful here at TCU as he has been at Tulane, these empty stands will soon be full of supporting fans for the Frogs. There's a new look at TCU, and I think it'll be an exciting one. Next stop on the tour, Lubbock and Texas Tech. From Eamon Carter Field, this is Jerry Haynes for Channel 8 Sports.